So good morning, Nick. Uh, my name is Matt, uh, and today is July twenty four, to uh, in the United States and July twenty five, in China. So I'm talking to Nick, and Nick, can you please tell me your first and last Chinese name? Uh. My first uh, child's name is uh, Chen. Mm -hmm. And uh, your last name is Yi Ming. Okay. And Nick, what grade are you in right now? I'm in grade 10. Grade 10. And what grade are you applying to? I want to apply for grade 10. Grade 10. And Nick, what is your birthday? My birthday is January 18th, 1999. Okay, thank you, Nick. Those were the easy questions. Now let's try some fun, but a little more difficult questions. So, my first question is, what are some extracurricular activities at school that you like? Yes, maybe. Yeah. Can you guess? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. Sports. Uh, play um, basketball match. Ah, okay, so basketball? And uh, s speech. Speech? Uh, same. You like speech class or speech club? Speech class? Yeah, so you enjoy basketball and speech class? Yes. So, Nick... Why do you like basketball? Um, I play basketball with my friend because basketball is, I think, is an interesting sport. Uh, okay. How often do you play basketball? Do you play basketball every day or every week or? Twice a week. Twice a week? Yes. Two times a week. On weekends. Oh, on the weekends. Yes. Okay. And Nick, can you tell me what is your favorite subject at school? Um. Math is my favorite. Oh, math. Math is very difficult, right? And because math, it is, it is both challenging and interesting. Uh, finishing math questions is very rewarding. Uh. Uh, it also help you to my future development. Oh, that helps your future development. How does it help your future development, Nick? Um, the last question is very difficult because uh, help you to my future development. They they help you with your personal development? Mm -hmm. So, why, why is math rewarding or why is it important to you? How does, uh, it, how does it help your personal development? Math. I think math is very interesting mm -hmm. and uh, is difficult. I like math. Okay. Well, what is the subject that you don't like? 
What is a subject that you don't like? Uh, biology. Oh, biology. Why don't you like biology? Uh, biology. Why? It's, mm -hmm. it's difficult to me. Okay, so biology is a difficult subject. Why? Yes. Why is it difficult? What is difficult about biology? I don't know how to understand. Uh, and uh, in the class, I is very boring. Ah, uh, okay. You don't know how to understand. All right. Um. Well, Nick, what do you do in your free time? What do you do oh. in your free time? Uh, in my spare, in my free time, I do some sports like uh, play basketball, mm -hmm. table tennis, um, badminton, mm -hmm. and uh, read some books. Oh, you also like to read books? Yes, yeah, but it's but it's Chinese books. Ah. What, what English was I not yet. Really. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sure in the future you'll be reading English books. Yes. What what kind the, of what kind of Chinese books do you read? Uh Chinese tradition ones. Oh. Do you know? No. Can you can you uh, tell me? Yes. For example, Sui Hu Zhuan. Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, taught me about uh, justice and uh, social responsibility. Oh, okay. And when does the story take place? Is it a modern story or an old story? What? Is the story a new story or an old story? Old story. Oh, it's an old story. It's an old traditional story. Okay. Well, why are you interested in studying in the United States? Uh, United States is one of the United States is one of the countries with the best uh, quantity of education in the world. Uh, Different uh, cultures compose of compose for equal and uh, free environment. Uh, to save to the students with it. What why is the quality of education why do you think it's the best? Uh, again, why do you think that the quality of education in the United States is the best? Um, America is number one in the world. Ah, okay, okay. So maybe the the nation you think is number one. So the quality of the education is number one. Well, Nick, can you tell me what do you want to do in college? What do you want to study in college? Uh, maybe, maybe business or production. Business or production? Mm -hmm. So, Nick, what do you want to study in college? Maybe business. Oh, business. Okay. Right. So, you said business or production. What kind of business do you want to study? Um...
No, I... I... Mm -hmm. I don't know... Mm -hmm. Kind of business. Oh, uh, okay. That's all right. So you want to study business, but you're yeah. not sure what type of business. Is that right? Uh, right. So you want to study business, but you're not sure what type of business, right? Yes. Okay. Well, after you graduate college, what do you want to do, Nick? After you graduate college, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to be a businessman and uh, open all my company about engineering management. Aha, okay. So you, you want to work in management? Yes. Okay. Well, can you tell me... Let's see. What do you think is one of your strengths that will help you become a businessman? What do you think is one of your strengths that will help you become a businessman? Um, my parents uh, agree. Your is my is my dream. Oh, but Nick, what do you think? is one of your strengths. What do you think is one of your strengths? Oh. What is a good point about you? What is a strong point about you? Uh. It's okay. What? 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 A strength that I'm considerate and thoughtful. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. You're considerate and thoughtful. Okay, good job. Yeah, that's definitely a strength. So, what is one of your weaknesses, Nick? What's something you're not so good at? Something you oh. have to improve. I'm not a decisive. You're not make a decision. Oh, so you are slow to make a decision. So can you give me a can you tell me how can you improve your decisiveness? How can you make your decisions quicker? What can you do? So you're. I, mm -hmm. I how to answer. That's okay. That's all right. Well, let me ask you one last question. Who is a person who has influenced you in your life? Who is a person who has influenced you in your life? Uh, my parents. Okay. Why? Uh, they do things is in a they do things in a logical way mm -hmm. in their life. Oh. And they honest and kind. Oh, okay. So your parents influenced you a lot. 
Okay. Well, Nick, we are done with the conversation part. Let's try the reading part. So, I just sent you a short story. Can you see it? Can you see the short story on your screen, Nick? What? I just sent you a short story. Can you see the short story in your Skype box? Maybe I don't know. So look at your look at your Skype screen. Look at the bottom right corner of your Skype screen. There is a balloon, a white balloon. Do you see it? So look at the bottom of your Skype screen. Do you see your Skype screen? Yes. Okay. Screen is an assessor. Yeah. So look at the area where you type a message. Look at the area where you type a message on the screen. Uh, spelling is really cool person. Um, weather is really weather. Weather is sunny, cloudy. Um, sky is blue, and flower is really beautiful. Okay, but. Look at the Skype screen. Look at the chat box. Do you see the chat box on your iPad? Uh -huh. Can you find the chat box on your Skype screen? I that's okay. So, do you see the story that I sent you, Nick? Do you see the story? I just sent you a message. Do you see the message? About it. The message is a short story. So, let me try... see this... Did you see my message? My email. Not email. Do you see the message that I wrote? I just wrote, hello, Nick. Hello, Nick. How yeah. are you? Hello. Can you read the message that I sent you? Okay. Hold on just a moment, Nick, okay? Please hold on for one moment.